It looked more like a funeral than a medal ceremony. Members of the U.S. Olympic softball team disappointed by their loss to Japan in the final and rocked by the reality that this may be the last time their sport is played at the Olympics. Our sport's too great to let eight years put it down. The U.S. has dominated the sport since its Olympic debut in 1996. That may have contributed to the International Olympic Committee's decision to drop the sport from the 2012 London Games. To bolster its case for reinstatement, softball needs to show the IOC that it has grown globally and that the rest of the world was gaining on the Americans. Thursday night's final may have shown just that. How will this affect our sport? We don't know. But all we can do is continue on and continue to hopefully put our trust in the IOC that they will make the right decision and put us back in for 2016. Japan denied the Americans a fourth straight gold medal behind the heroic effort of pitcher Yukiko Ueno, who pitched an astounding 28 innings over two days. A day later, many of the American players were still feeling the sting of loss and the pain of having the sport they love stripped of its Olympic status. The medal doesn't matter at the end of the day. We still touch those people and we still sold the sport to the world the best way we know how. And I think we can all be proud of that regardless of the outcome of yesterday's ballgame. Adding to the women's grief, a number of veteran members of the team will retire following these games. These are greats of our game and our best friends, you know, and how can you, how can you put that into words? There may have been no words, but the five pair of USA cleats left behind in the dirt at home plate said enough. Jason Bronis, The Associated Press, Beijing.